Holland is back too. Okay, so I'm back here today and I am just going to be trying out some new makeup products that I found when I was at Walmart yesterday. I haven't looked in the Walmart makeup section in a hot minute. So I definitely spent more money than I needed to because I was really just going in for groceries. But I just thought, hey, I'm going to try that. So here we are. If you hear noises in the background, as always, that is children and dog and husband. So the first thing that I wanted to try out was a newer brand at Walmart that I had never seen before, although I think it released in the fall of 2017, so a few months ago. Um, but it's the brand called Found. Okay, so Found is a natural brand. Um, every product will have a little number on here telling you exactly how much of it was made with natural ingredients. So this BB cream with added moisture and sheer coverage is 98% natural. It's also made with blackberry extract. And this says, ancient ritual, early Europeans used blackberries to help hydrate skin during the cold and dry months. Interesting. There were only about five shades of this, which, I mean, it's a BB cream, so I don't feel like you can expect in a huge shade range but I got light medium. It's a sheer coverage obviously because it's a BB cream but it does say it can be layered up for additional coverage so we'll see. I don't know. Like I know it's a BB cream but it feels more like a like a moisturizer. And I'm very uh, skeptical about the fact that this would add coverage if you built it up. So. That clinking sound in the background is Holland. We are redoing our guest bathroom. And there's... Um, porcelain tiles lining the hallway right now waiting to be cut and she keeps playing with them. Okay, I'm going to try to go in on a layer with this and see if that can in any way build the coverage. So that did add a little bit more. Obviously it's not going to cover any of my acne or blemishes. But it is still adding a little bit more, and my skin's looking a little more even. I mean, it's built up really nicely, actually. I'd say this is on par with some of my lighter foundations. My skin looks nice. I like it. I do need a little bit of concealer, so I'm just going to go in really quick with the first thing I have nearby, which is Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus Concealer. I just realized that I was not filming my camera cut off and I got distracted by my kids so I didn't see that it wasn't filming all I did was use this setting powder and I'm not sure what I mentioned before it cut off but this is the found translucent loose setting powder um, when it first comes out I was actually really skeptical about it because it does not look very fine at all it looks very thick and kind of like granular is that how you say that word but it applied really nicely and I actually really enjoyed it. So I'll see how it wears throughout the day if I find that it makes my makeup last longer or what. The next product that I got was the Found Sculpt and Define Contour Palette. I think this one was like around $8. It's the light medium shade so you have Shell, Maple, and Nutmeg. So I think I'll just take this middle shade really quick and warm up my face a little bit.
I'm really hungry. Well, so far I really like this too. I was not expecting to like anything from this brand. But it all looks really nice on the skin. I might just go in with this slightly deeper shade right here. I don't really feel like I need this brightening shade since the setting powder kind of did a good job, but we'll just do it because it's there. It does brighten the face up kind of nicely though. I'm going to add just a little bit of highlighter. This is the Hourglass Vanishing highlighter I think and champagne flash I'm not sure if they actually have other shades or not typically this sits very well on top of any of my makeup powders included so I'll see if that's also the case with this found beauty stuff Okay, I didn't get any new blushes, so I'm just going to go in with one from this Profusion palette. I saw Tati talking about the Profusion palettes whenever she was going over, I think, like her Christmas, her Christmas <laughs> gift bundle sets and which ones were good and which ones weren't, and then she ended up liking the Profusion contour one so much that she continued using it. So after Christmas, this one was on major clearance at our Target for $5, so I thought I would give it a shot, and I actually like it, so that's the story behind that. A little bit more pigmented than I need. So yet again, my video cut out on me. Next time I'm going to make sure that art is empty before I sit down and film a video. Um, I'm not sure if it cut out before I finished doing this, but after I applied my blush, just because it was a little bit too pigmented, I went in with my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless, Flawless Finish Powder. It's just a really good finishing powder. You can tell I use it every day and I'm about to have to buy a new one. But it's great for kind of blending things together if you get a little too carried away with your bronzer or your blush or whatever. And it just kind of gives you a really pretty finished outcome that just looks cohesive rather than you just kind of drew a line of brown and a line of pink and a line of champagne, you know? So anyways, I did that. I did not buy a found eyeshadow palette, although they do have them. I think they have a palette with about 14 or 15 shades in it. I didn't buy it because 
it was 15 around the $15 range which is actually which is actually a great price but I had already bought so much other stuff I just had to pick and choose what I wanted to try out the most so I'm going to use this contour palette of theirs and just go in with these brown contouring shades kind of in my crease to get going So I just did the middle contour shade all over my lid and then I'm doing the slightly darker contour shade on the outside and then blending it inward. I'm just taking that brightening shade in the palette and going up here under my brow bone. Okay, so the next thing that I have is by L'Oreal, and this is the first time I'd seen this, I think, ever. I'm not sure if maybe I've seen it on YouTube and I just forgot about it. It's the first time I've seen it in public. It's the L'Oreal Crushed Foil Metallic Eyeshadow. This was the only one they had in stock, so obviously people are buying them, or perhaps they're all breaking them, they're having to throw them away, because I did notice they had two of these left, no other shades. This was the only one that wasn't broken. Um, so this is in the shade Crushed Stone. So it has like a really kind of greenish undertone to it, which might actually be kind of pretty. I don't know if it's picking any of that up. Probably should have thought ahead of time to do this before I did my face makeup. It's going on nicely, but I do think I need to try this with my finger. Yeah. So that's where you get the most payoff is if you're using your finger. Even the wet brush wasn't really doing it for me. I'm trying to be so, so gentle because I don't want to just knock all this stuff down onto my cheek. This would be so pretty for a night out. Blending this back into the brown shade that was in my crease. I am focusing this in the center and the outside of my eyelid because it is such a dark shade. I feel like I want something a little brighter in the inner corner. I'm thinking I I'm thinking I'm gonna use a gold shade that I have in another palette. Now I'm going to go in the Jaclyn Hill palette and try to find something for the rest of my inner eye, right in the inside. Gazing 
to the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through? I'm just taking a kind of neutral brown shade from the Jacqueline palette and putting it underneath. I was originally planning to do just that contour shade from the Found palette, but I feel like it wouldn't have like held its own against how heavy it is on top. I feel like I want to open this back up and just pop a teeny tiny bit back in the center. Just to bring it back to life a little bit. So, let me do brows and mascara and all that and then I'll be right back. So I've got lashes and brows on. Um, so finally, I'm just gonna throw on some lipstick and I grabbed this Hard Candy Cashmere Silk. And Hard Candy is a very inexpensive Walmart brand. I think this was probably about $6. But I will let you know. Also, I just, Hard Candy has really cute packaging all the time and I've been a sucker for it a couple times and regretted my purchase, but then other times I've really loved it, so, you know, I'm okay with it. So this is actually a very deceptive looking bottle, like it seems like very big, but it's very thin and lightweight. Feels a lot like a gloss. And it's very sheer. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that. It's just, it's, it is streaky and it's sheer, so it, it feels a lot like a lip gloss to me. But that's it. So far, I'm really liking most of this stuff. Um, I will let you know how it wears throughout the rest of the day. I'll write a little thing in the description box down below this video. Um, but so far I really like everything. I've been really surprisingly pleased with the Found brand. The fact that it is based off of a natural ingredient concept. I was really impressed with how well everything performed and at such a cheap price. Um, for a BB cream, this so far is holding up really well under all of this cake that I have on, so I'm interested to see how it lasts throughout the rest of the day. But I really like this. The translucent powder, really enjoyed this, even though at first I didn't think I did, but once it went on, it went on beautifully. Contouring powder also went on really nicely, even the brightening powder was great. So love all of that. This eyeshadow is super pretty. It is not quite as amazing as some of the other foil glittery type eyeshadows that I have in my collection. And I just told you what I think of the lip. It's pretty, but I'm not like dying over it. I'm gonna wear it a few more days and see what I think. So that's all for this video. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if there's any new products at Walmart that you're just dying to try or that you've already tried and loved. I would love to know about that so I can get my hands on them as well. My kids are dying to get out of the house, so I'm going to take this beautiful date night makeup look and go to the park. That's always fun, especially when you run into other moms. Hit the thumbs up button, which is right there. Subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button or you can click this picture of my face that's about to pop up. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.